Okay, hi guys. So look at this next question here. This question says that four natural numbers are in proportion. The sum of these, uh, the means is twenty eight, and the sum of the streams is thirty two. Okay, if the positive difference between these extremes is four times the positive difference between the means, find the difference between the extremes. Correct. Now look at this question here. This question says uh, this is a question here, right? So now, uh, what I hope you know this extremes and means, right? Basically. Whenever the four numbers are in proportion, that means I write here a is to b is in proportion with c is to d. This is called the first proportion. This is the second proportion. This is the third proportion. This is the fourth proportion. Okay, first proportion, second proportion, third proportion, fourth proportion. Correct. So this first and fourth proportion are called extremes. Okay, and the second and third proportion are called means. Correct. So now how do you write this? Actually, this a is to b written as a by b. Is equal to c by d. Okay, now it's always what that that a into d is equal to b into c. So how do you get that? What is a and d? Product of extremes. So always you can use product of extremes is equal to product of means in any proportion question. Okay. So now let's apply this formula in this question here, guys. So I can see here that. So actually, if if you solve with this question, so Sum of means is twenty eight and sum of extremes is thirty two. Okay, and the difference between the extremes is four times the positive difference between the means. Correct. Now understand this, guys. So basically, uh, what what you can say is that sum of means is is twenty eight. Okay, sum of means is twenty eight. That means sum of these b plus c is twenty eight. Right. So for this question, a uh, first thing is that b plus c is equal to twenty eight. Now understand this because but I don't have this value here, right? And I know that the difference is it could be some variable, right? I need to assume some variable here. So the positive difference between the streams is four times the positive difference between the means. So I can say that if b plus c is equal to twenty eight, if at all b plus c will be equal to twenty eight. Okay, fine. Come again. If at all b plus c is equal to twenty eight, then what I can say here is. If b plus c is twenty eight, I can assume these values to be one value as fourteen plus x and other values as fourteen minus x. I can assume that, right? Okay. So basically, the difference, this difference between the extremes, uh, I'm taking as it is some four times the positive difference between the means. So obviously, I have to assume some variable here. So I I need the difference between the means and I need the difference between the extremes. So I can say that. Because I I need values like this, so I'll take the difference between extremes as two x. If I take difference between extremes as two x, that will be fourteen plus x and fourteen minus x. So that means the difference between the uh uh extremes will be four times of that, right? So I that means the difference. Sorry, I'm I, I'm sorry. I'll take a different between the means here. Okay. So difference between the means is two x. So I take difference between the extremes is equal to eight x. That is four times of that, right? Now sum is thirty two. So how do you write this, guys? So now you know know that this a plus d is equal to thirty two. So now split thirty two into two parts. It can be sixteen and sixteen, and you need to create a difference of eight x. So you can write here sixteen plus four x and sixteen minus four x, right? That's the shortest way to solve this problem. Okay, that's the shortest way to solve this kind of problem. Uh, one way is obviously the equations way, right? The longer method. But you can use this uh, fund actually in a lot of questions. The sum of means is twenty eight. I don't know what is sum, so let me assume that is fourteen plus is fourteen minus six. Okay, and uh, because uh, the sum will be twenty eight, so x and x will get cancelled. The sum is twenty eight. Here the sum is thirty two. Four and four gets cancelled. So if the difference is two x, I need to create a difference of eight x here. Okay. So now, now my equation says that. So, uh, so as for my question, product of extremes should be equal to product of means. So I can write here, sixteen uh, plus four x. I can write here, guys, sixteen plus four x into sixteen minus four x is equal to fourteen plus x into fourteen minus x. Okay. So in that case, I can write this equation as two fifty six minus sixteen x square is equal to one ninety six minus x square. In that case, the value of fifteen x square is sixty, 
therefore x will be equal to 2 because the difference is positive okay so i don't take minus 2 now so x will be equal to 2 so if x is 2 then my four numbers will be i can take my number as this is 16 12 right so i can take my numbers the, the my largest number will be 16 plus 4x so 16 plus 4 into 2 is 24 uh, then 16 minus 4x will be my smallest number 16 minus 2 into 4 will be equal to 8 this is, these are the extremes here and these are the means here okay 14 plus 2 is 16 and 14 minus 2 is 12 these are my four numbers okay this is the answer so my answer is difference between the extremes so difference between the extremes is what 24 and 8 answer is 16 so 16 is the answer so that's how you can solve this question easily in a bit faster way so get this concept it's a very good concept guys take it so just learn this concept right okay Okay, and this is the uh, very nice uh, test event guys. So I always keep telling about this combat. Okay, all of you should give this combat a uh, really very, very uh, uh, important and uh, new questions are there. So it's, it's very important that before CAT you give so many small tests, right? So one of these tests, we have it happens every Sunday 12 p.m. You'll get some new questions in quant, 10 new questions in quant. Okay, 10 new questions in L LRDI similarly in verbal so and this is a live event also so basically after every uh, question you answer there's a live scorecard going on so it's a fun also right it's a fun good good competition plus adding this good questions to your question bank so in every every sunday you're getting some 10 new questions in in, in this combat right okay so in in, in around 10 10 combats it you can get 100 new questions of quant okay same 100 new questions of lrdi so we have this all this tests and solutions with with practice right with live grilling of your mind it's very very important so do this this give this combat all of you it's a free event completely free okay and uh, you can just put the invite code it will ask you just put the invite code Ravi Rodha okay and then you can just give this event and uh, give this test discuss with me uh, in my telegram group what's the problem what's the shortcoming we'll discuss about this okay so just give this test on this Sunday 12 p.m. okay I'll put the enrollment link in the description. Thank you.